Hello there. So today we're going to be looking at some latest new add-ons for Blender artists. And before we get into that, let me introduce you to Blender Everything, which is my new website for starter files and templates. I've always hated starting from scratch with a default cube. If you want to start a project, you can start with the project files on this website. For example, uh, there is a, an explosion template, a warehouse template, a road generator, river generator, and I'm always adding new templates. Let's begin with Matte Plus, a new layer-based texturing add-on similar to Substance Painter with different masks for edge wear, ambient occlusion, ground dart, top layer dart, and everything. So if you have used Substance Painter with Matte Plus, you get something similar inside an interface you're already familiar with, uh, giving you all the familiar masking and grunge maps you get with Substance Painter. So forget about having massive libraries of materials and textures. Uh, this just compresses all of that into one area uh, where you can easily find all your materials, PBR textures, uh, smart masks and everything in one area, uh, making your texturing easy and faster inside Blender. It also comes with blending modes, 2D symmetry and baking functionality to allow you to export the materials you have created to other applications. And another one we have here is uh, 50 procedure generators from Blender Procedure. This includes simulation add-ons like, like a voxel sand, dust generator, fill fluids, magic trails, and a lot more. Others, the pack also includes generators like liquid explode, clay gen, creature generator, explosion generator, and a lot more. Again, this is a collection of over 50 generators, uh, which you can buy individually one by one, but that would be quite expensive. Some of my favorites are the medieval castle generator, skyscraper generator, and uh, all those generators that have to do with cities and, and environments because they help fill up empty spaces in your scene. Stepping away from that, let's take a look at another great bundle that uh, you might be interested in and that is the Genie add-on bundle by CG Matter. It comes with 14 add-ons including uh, the camera tracker which is the one of the most popular trackers. It's quite popular because of how functional and how easy it is to use. It generates point clouds uh, that are uh, littered around your scene in your footage, uh, tracking every pixel in your scene, giving you a very ac accurate camera track. And uh, because it's a point cloud, you get these point clouds forming shapes that are basically the objects in your scene. So you can easily identify the different objects in your scenes and also help you with aligning objects in case you want to add in uh, 3D objects into your scene. The pack again contains quite a lot of add-ons, 14 to be exact exact including an automatic UV unwrapper, a rope generator and a lot more. You can also get the Blender Photo Scan add-on, which is also by CG Matter, which is a photogrammetry add-on that lets you convert pictures you take of any object in the real world with your phone or camera, convert it into a 3D object directly into Blender. It's a quick and easy way to do photo scanning right inside Blender without buying a new subscription like a Mesh, a Mesh Room or any other photogrammetry add-on. Stepping away from that, let's take a look at Botanic 7.1, which is a new update to Botanic, the, the largest tree and vegetation collection for Blender. Now has over 1300 curated, optimized and consistent assets, including bushes, grass, and uh, different biomes that you can instance in your scene to make a cohesive environment with animation and uh, seasons to change the color and uh, look of your trees, leaves, and everything you need. Uh, it also comes with uh, scattering features, including curves scattering using geometry nodes and uh, a geolocation distribution or filter uh, to make sure that you are instancing uh, plants that uh, naturally exist in the type of environment you're creating. If you like Botanic, you, you will probably like their other add-on, Traffic. Uh, they also updated it a few weeks ago with a new update, including interior details. I can't really overstate how much work that was put into creating these details. Modeling a car itself is quite a lot of work, and most people just model the outside. So having cars that have fully detailed interiors that fit the model you are using is just remarkably useful. 
Uh, speaking of cars, we also have a new update for the RBC, a physics-based rigging system uh, that lets you rig your cars in a way that works with physics so you can get the cars from Botanic and add animation or animate them using the RBC Pro 1.4. Uh, this add-on makes it really, really super easy to animate cars and make them uh, animate using the Blender rigid body system, making it easy for them to collide with other objects, make them feel real instead of just hand animated and you can create custom rigs on top of what the iron gives you to make the rigs more functional and fit the type of animations you're going for if you're making arcvis in blender you might want to take a look at n interiors which is basically parallax maps that you can add to any building so that it looks like it has interior detail these are fast low poly planes that you can add to any building and this collection has 90 of them including day and night shadings if you're creating large environments with different themes like cities ancient walls or futuristic walls i take a look at these kit bash assets from gribo town uh, including the empire sands which is a collection of egypt style buildings you also have metro punk which is more of a futuristic city kit bash collection with skyscrapers neon lights and a lot more you have the sky ukiyo modern metropolis which is a collection of modern metropolis assets like uh, skyscrapers that you would see in today's world terra node might not be new but it's one of the best terrain generator allowing you to add a lot of customization to your terrain not just creating a displacement map but giving you details like adding roads rivers and different biomes using curves that lets you determine where the different assets are going to be it's all procedural and you can start with a very simple mesh and layer different details over it one layer at a time and uh, where you want hills valleys anything without a lot of work and finally let's take a look at scatterflow which is a new add-on that is sweeping the blender market uh, because of how intuitive it is uh, letting you scatter objects as rbd objects and uh, giving you that rbd emission uh, system that we miss in blender allowing you to scatter hundreds of objects without them intersecting each other but in a way that you would expect them to uh, scatter in the real world this is great for scattering assets like uh, debris garbage and things like that so if you want to take a look at this or any of the add-ons we have talked about links are going to be in the description